What's up guys? As you know, reefing ain't easy. Why? Because you gotta do things like clean out your protein skimmer all the time. That's why I'm excited today. I just got a new toy. It is a Reef Octopus Cleaner. Basically what it is, you replace the top of your skimmer with this guy and it's got basically like some wipers that spin in a circle and it cleans the neck of your skimmer. When the neck of your skimmer starts to build up gunk, it's not as efficient and you have to wipe that out. So I'm gonna install this guy that's going to circle around, clean all that out. So the idea is rather than cleaning your skimmer out once every week, maybe two weeks, let it go like six months without actually having to clean it, that would be ideal. What I'm really trying to accomplish with my tank is make it as automated as possible so it can be the least amount of maintenance as possible. So if I am going to put time into my tank, it's doing stuff that I enjoy more than doing stuff like cleaning my skimmer. So yeah, in this video, I just wanted to show you what it looks like in case you're looking to get it set up and then uh, later on, I'll give you my opinion about it and whatnot. So there's actually only seven parts, four of which are screws. Then you also have the blade and then you have the actual lid that is gonna replace the lid to your skimmer and then there's the power block. So first thing, unplug your skimmer, take off the cup and clean it up so that you can get it ready to install. So it's actually pretty simple and it's a big reason why I would recommend a Reef Octopus skimmer. I mean, obviously people like them. I haven't really heard anything bad about it, but if you don't get this brand, you're gonna have to buy a cleaner if you ever decide to get one, a net cleaner. That's like a one size fits all, so it might be a little bit tough configuring it and making sure it fits and you're not 100% sure it does fit. However, if you get the Reef Octopus, you can do what I did where you just have it regular set up for a few years when you're ready to invest the money, if you ever are, you have the option of getting the lid. Now, they do make a bunch of different sizes. This is the 220, so I had to buy the 220 lid. But what's nice is it has this crease here and it just slides right on, fits on top, basically uh, replaces this lid right here. All right, so it's actually a pretty easy install parts that comes with four screws, one long, three short, the blade, and of course the uh, cap. Now, one thing that I found was mine were loose, these guys. So you're gonna need to tighten these and you wanna make sure the blade is actually going to touch the edge of your skimmer. I don't know if maybe mine just came out of the factory weird because it was loose and it's normally not, but that's not in the instructions and something I would definitely pay attention to. But the screw can go in one side. If you try to put it in the other side here, that's the threaded side so it won't go through. So make sure you put it in this side and you just thread it through the one hole that's right there. And then you hand tighten it. You don't need to crank it down or anything and don't be alarmed, it will have some wiggle. What's actually gonna hold it in place is your cup. It doesn't have the float switch valve, which is kind of a bummer, but I'm going to be extracting my skin mate into a different reservoir anyway, so it'll still be okay. So next step is you just put it into your cap there, and then you take these three screws and you hand tighten each one onto this guy. Again, don't overdo it. Um, it's just to hold it in place so it doesn't like wanna pop up on you or shift around when it's moving around. But like I said, that one step that isn't in the instructions that at least for mine seems to be pretty darn important because it is definitely not touching the edge when it's gonna spin, it's just kind of dangling there. You can see it is extending the wiper blade so that they are touching the edge so that it actually does clean it. And like I said, there's no instructions, so I'm not sure of the exact best way or if there's a particular way, but I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do it. So you can actually see there's three lines on this silicone here and I'm going to put it on that first line and see how it goes. I think that'll do good just based on when I put it in and how it feels. Um, but you can use those lines as a reference point and start on one and then move it to the other two depending on how it's doing. So I'm going to do my best to line this edge up with the three lines. You probably can't even see it on camera. It's probably not picking it up because they're very subtle and just wanted to mention that it gives you a reference point, tighten them all down, do it on both sides, then try it out, see how it works. If it's not uh, cleaning enough, you can move it to more a line that's further to the right. So this is out farther and pushing harder up against your plastic 
and I'll have some flex so it'll hopefully clean that up for you. You know, again, you don't want it tough to where it can't spin and to where it's really bending this, but you want it to where it is actually touching, creating a seal from the top to the bottom. You don't want to have it, you know, touching at the top, not on the bottom, because what will happen is you'll see it's cleaning the top, but towards the bottom it's still dirty. After you do that and install it, you'll be good to go. Teen skimmer has been running and the neck cleaner so far is doing a good job. Uh, I wonder how it'll be after a couple months, but it's keeping the neck clean. I'm gonna give you a demonstration of what it looks like right now, and then I'll show you how I program this into my Apex so that it does this automatically, periodically, to clean the neck of the skimmer so that it continues to operate efficiently. And soon I'm going to be modifying this to export my skin mate into a reservoir so that this can hopefully just continuously run for months without ever needing any maintenance. Get a little closer and hopefully and you'll see how this works. So it's really quiet which is nice and you can see it's spinning in there. It's going to go around and just help clean off the edge of the neck to make sure that it skims as efficiently as possible. And then I'm turning it off. Uh, again, I can give you a better idea after you know six months of using this how well it works, but what I'm most impressed and happy with is it is super quiet. It is quieter than the MP40s that are running, so it didn't add any noise to my system. Subscribe, like if you want to see future updates. There is a lot of different ways you can program it to automatically do the skimming in your Apex. The instructions recommend that you clean every four to six hours and that it runs for 15 seconds. And there is a big thing in bold with an exclamation mark saying do not run motor continuously. So I'm starting out with every six hours clean for 15 seconds. And there's more than one ways you could program it to do this. I found that the oscillate function within the Apex made the most sense for this. And it is very confusing how this works, especially if you wanna do something that isn't simple, like every six hours, such as five, cause it doesn't divide into 24. But without getting into the weeds there, if you wanna just download the comprehensive reference manual from the Apex website about it on page 61, it will go into depth explaining how to do this and um, it gets pretty tricky with this stuff right here. But let me just show you how I actually programmed it. So fall back off, and then here's the oscillating function. All zeros here, which basically means start this right at the new day, right at uh, midnight. Clean for 15 seconds. Wait 359 minutes and 45 seconds, and then clean again for 15 seconds. And it's just gonna repeat that. This is 15 seconds less than six hours. This right here completes the six hours, so every six hours it cleans. So it's gonna clean 12 p.m. and a.m., 6 p.m. and a.m. for 15 seconds. I also included this line right here, just basically saying that if my output outlet that's labeled skimmer, my protein skimmer, is off, then leave this off. So for some reason, I decided to turn off my skimmer for something I'm doing this won't run and clean. I'll go ahead and just copy and paste this into the description. You will need to change whatever you labeled your skimmer in the Apex. And if you don't have your skimmer plugged into the Apex, then just delete the third line. It actually took me a while to get this oscillating function dialed in. It was confusing. It's just another reason why reefing ain't easy. But I hope this helps. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.